So Crenshaw brother is coming for Blueface and for her for not sending him any money. Now Crenshaw brother was pretty upset. He was ranting online saying that Crenshaw and Blueface are broke. That he had to pay his mother airfare to get back home. Now he also had more things to say about Crenshaw and even threaten her when she gets back to his hometown. So here's the video and let's take a look. Y'all the brokest celebrities in Hollywood and the most lit right now. I'm mad at y'all because y'all not taking advantage of this lit and getting some money with it. Y'all broke, stop playing, Krishan. You know what's up with me? I'm back, big at everybody when I'm home. What you don't do shit. Hey, you don't got no motion. All that motion don't know what to do with it. Krishan don't ever play with me like that. I'll see you on the first. Talk about, talk about, for nobody. Probably want to come home. I pay her flight home. If I'll fall for flight home. Stop, you ain't, you ain't, stop playing with me. That's why I, when I came out there, I'm thinking y'all also broken. We get tables and all here, but we been doing this. Y'all stop playing. I bad at you because you broke. You in, damn. And it's like, you wouldn't be broke if it wasn't foot. So right after Chris Shaw brother was complaining, whining, and ranting about how Chris Shaw and Blueface are broke and have not been sending them no type of money, Chris Shaw decided to respond back. Now in her life, she stated that her brother had set up Blueface to get into the altercation with her father, her brother, and also some other guy. Now I seen the video and I seen how her brother was um, talking to her father in the ear and some other guy and that's when everything had went off. Now she also said that she did send her brother and her family money when they needed it. Say all this to your face. I feel disrespected. You say not being a nice guy. Okay, you can address the issue you got with him, with him, not with me. Not saying, oh, my sister, like you're vouching for me. Like I want, like, I don't know. Like you're trying to put something out to cover up that you put yourself in. Like nobody told you to set up blue. And then when we find out, Play like you never was in our face, like you didn't do what you did, and then we played like you never did what you did, but prior to whatever, it's just like, you have to be okay with somebody calling you out when they want to, like, if I got somebody ready to set me up, and I didn't know they was ready to set me up till after the fact, the after the fact is, we already did Thanksgiving together. We already paid for your flights. We already made sure you're squared away. We already like, oh, you locked in. You can use all resources. You all like, ooh, wah, ooh, wah, ooh, wah, 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 wah. And when, whenever you call me, you need some, here. So if I'm doing everything and all that, why you can get your lips to say some weirdo. I don't care if it's about my, my name still came out your mouth. And then two, stop talking about my, just stop. So guys, comment down below and let me know how you feel about Chris Shaw's brother calling her and Blueface broke. Now we're going to go and jump into this next tea. And this tea is about Jocelyn, R. Kelly's girlfriend, had came forward a couple of days ago saying that she had R. Kelly's baby. Which you can see up here in the post that she has a picture of a baby girl. And she named the baby Ava Lee Kelly. Now, Jocelyn's father had finally came forward and said that her daughter did not have no baby and that he is worried about her mental health. Hello everyone. I am uh, coming on this live today to talk about some issues that is going on in my uh, family. I'm trying to wait to get clarity on some stuff to make sure that this is a hundred percent accurate. So I, I come on here today to clear up some things that has been put in the media, specifically about Jocelyn Savage. So I wanna talk about it and rest assured what I'm telling you it's a hundred percent accurate. My daughter, Jocelyn, is not pregnant. This is a hundred percent accurate. My daughter also, whoever did the Patreon account, is over this. So rest assured, 
I'm investigating this to the fullest, and other people are too. That little girl, the little baby that is on that uh, account is a pretty little baby. No doubt about that. If my daughter had a grand, if I had a granddaughter, I would be the first to say I love this child, no matter what the situation is, period. But rest assured, that's not my granddaughter. And rest assured, Jocelyn is not pregnant. These people are, are evil, cruel people to take a horrible situation and try to make some type of profit off of it by going in the media saying that my daughter is pregnant. Knowing her stability, nobody knows. My daughter's been hidden away from everyone due to the circumstances, and it's not right. If it was the case that my daughter had a child, they would come forth, my daughter would come forth and be happy about it. But as we both know that my daughter has not come forth and my daughter has not responded in a fashion to say that this is her child. I have messaged that, that channel also in the past to see if that was my daughter, to congratulate that channel has not responded in the proper way of what I will be looking for as a grandfather of this child. Rest assured that I have been in contact with other people to try to develop a situation to try to find out who's behind the Patreon account, behind these books that are being put out saying my daughter has written, also behind the saying that she was pregnant with um, Robert Sylvester's uh, child. None of this is true. These people are scammers. And they deserve to be put behind bars where they belong. I don't know who it may be, but we are going to find out. And I promise you, if my daughter would call and let me know, I would help her tremendously to try to get these people arrested. A hundred percent. My intent is to help my daughter in any which way I can. My concerns is to make sure she's okay and healthy and fine. At this point in time, I don't even know if my daughter's alive or not. Due to the circumstances of what she's going through, somebody's trying to throw this family off and trying to deceive us and thinking that my daughter is fine and okay, which I don't think it is true. I need to show some type of form of proof of life that my daughter's still living because I don't think that she's living at this point in time. Due to all the things that someone has put out in the media to try to prove some type of point, I truly and honestly believe that my daughter is being harmed in some form or fashion. Whether Rob is in jail, whether these actual predator people that who are trying to cover up, my thing is not to blame someone else that is in jail at this point, but someone that is actually trying to cover up her situation about my daughter. I am want to investigate this more, and I, I encourage the federal authorities in Chicago to investigate this, and I also ask the authorities of the FBI to investigate this and see if my daughter is still living and see if she is okay. My concerns are my daughter, not Robert Sylvester Kelly. My concern is to make sure that she's fine and healthy. My whole family is concerned of her, and we want to make sure that she's okay. Please, report these two pages to have these pages taken down immediately. We are going to do everything in our power to make sure Jocelyn is fine. That's all we want. So we want to make sure that this goes accordingly. Thank you. Guys, comment down below and let me know how you feel about this whole situation with Jocelyn Savage saying that she had a baby by R. Kelly. And also let me know in the comments down below about her father denying his grandchild. And I'll catch y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye.